Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. We got our t our test results back from COVID tests, and yes. they're negative. Negative, so we are all good to travel. I think this one's feeling the quarantine blues over here. Cabin fever. Um, and so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do today. To Stare make outside it, longingly. <laughs> to make it a good last day of our weekend. It's I mean, exciting. what's next? Like, we only have a four-day right. work week. And my boss is off the next two days, so, you know, what's that saying about when the cats are out, howling happens or something? I don't know. I'll but you're not good it. with things, no matter, uh, regardless. All right, we're going to start Food Fix by Dr. Mark Hyman. Um, we'll put a link down below about where I got the idea to get this because Mark Hyman was on an interview with Gary Vaynerchuk on Gary V's YouTube channel, and it was an interesting interview. And like, So this is about the economics, the environmental, the political, the social, like all the different things, how food is connected into like all of our main issues right now when it comes to everything. And so I'm gonna give this book a whirl. Um, how did reading go for you? <laughs> Didn't go well. I got two pages in and then fell asleep. We found out that YouTube is putting like literally three to six ads mid video. And I almost, I was like, this is ridiculous. But Peter I figured out figured how to turn off out. them in batches of 50, so I went through all of our videos and turned them off. Wow, I was doing it in batches of one, so it <laughs> definitely helped. But that was a bit ridiculous. I guess we're not up to date on our YouTube knowledge. And apparently Let's go buy a, a new lens. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. This is the Broker Project. We're going on a road trip. A road trip is called. We're going to McDonald's to get Sarah French fries. I'm going to Walgreens so I can pick up a few things that I forgot at the grocery store. And then we come back and we clean our dishes, I think. And then we watch The Last Dance, I feel. Or Stranger Things. Probably Stranger Things. Probably Stranger Things. What do you do? When you get in your car in the summer Florida heat and it's 100 degrees, you can barely breathe. We play Olaf's Frozen Adventure. We plan a party as a big surprise. I might just turn into a McDonald's French fry at this point. And just to clarify, somebody had asked, or somebody had said, ooh, look at that light. Um, it's so nice that we have a McDonald's that does French fries, vegetarian slash vegan. But they are not. They are fried in deep fat. So, just being honest here. That's at least the case in America. Where, where are we going next? I'm gonna run to the Publix. Grab a few things I forgot yesterday and maybe some sushi for Sarah. And that's that. That's that. Oh, he thinks he's really doing it. So we decided, I don't know if we told the vlog, but we decided when we, come, when we come back from Chicago, we were gonna decorate and begin celebrating Halloween. Mm -hmm. I made an executive decision when I was in Publix that we were gonna start celebrating fall right now. It makes sense because we're gonna watch Stranger Things and it said Halloween time. She loves, she loves fall. It's her favorite season. This was my sushi treat that Peter got me. If you guys have ever had Public sushi like this is like as simple as it gets. It's just the veggie um, But they have so many good options highly recommend it the next time you're getting pub subs, All right? We're we got infatuated with Season two try it. We're gonna end up we're finishing season two of stranger things today and Samwise Gamgee if you're for my middle-earth friends is in the season and I'm fairly certain Something bad is about to happen, but I, I don't know for certain and I don't want to give any spoilers, but I'm really sick of these afternoon storms in Florida. It really tells me that it would just make my overall day better if I just run in the morning, but also I could probably avoid these ridiculously humid runs in the evening. And it's because of these storms of why it's extra humid. It's humid here in Florida regardless, but like when I 
it's supposed to, it's pouring now, and it's probably going to pour for the next, like, hour or two, which is just going to make it so mucky out, and it's going to be not the most fun runs, but it is what it is. I gave my spiel yesterday about it, but I definitely can avoid it if I just would get up in the morning. Sarah tells me just now, <laughs> as, as we we're about to pause. Oh, gosh. Between the last episode of season two of Stranger Things. One, it's like scary. It's like so Halloween rain out with like yeah. howling wind. Howling wind and, and like the craziest crashes of lightning and thunder. She she looks at the recipe for the the dinner, the delicious sounding dinner she wants to make. She, oh man. <laughs> should have been cooking make, this. Should have been cooking this. It's gonna take six hours to make the baked beans. I it'll be fine. There we'll just probably like maybe cook them <laughs> after we eat. Or like our leftovers. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think they'll be fine. But it's just like one of those things where like if you cook it forever. It's tastier, more delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Let them I up. have to do laundry not laundry, dishes <laughs> while Sarah starts cooking. And then we can finish season two of Stranger Things. And then she vowed to me that we watch all eight episodes of season three tonight. There's only eight? Yeah. That's only eight hours. Not even. Hmm. It's six hours. Because they're forty five minute episodes. Yeah, we could do it. <laughs> yeah, she falls asleep right now. This storm better pull itself together. We chose maybe maybe the wrong time to start cooking because our power just went on and off. And if you know anything about Florida, you know that the stoves are electrical, mostly. mostly. Um, I got the vloggy while the power was out, but then it went back on. So fingers crossed we can cook everything before it happens again, but the storm is really crazy. Doesn't look, it, it kind of tamed, tamed itself a little bit. It's more green outside than it looks on the camera, but the lightning is fairly constant and the rain is sideways. Okay, we got a busy oven. Tonight we got buffalo cauliflower on the left, some mustard maple cabbage on the right. Sorry I had to stop because of the thunder. Um, maple mustard cabbage wedges on the side as well as asparagus just with olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. And then on the stove top we have the barbecue baked beans. These should have been in a crock pot for six hours, but I think I think they'll turn out fine. You can tell I look a little <laughs> disheveled and sweaty. There's a lot going on. Um, I obviously am not gonna do step by step for any of these things today, but I will link the recipes in the description and then update the recipe blog on our website too. Alrighty, we got our buffalo cauliflower, got a little crispy, probably gonna add more buffalo sauce to it. Our beans, our cabbage, and asparagus. That is all you, Peter. How was dinner? It was so delicious. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm so full, I don't know how I'm gonna go on a run later. Oh gosh. Does anybody else's dog or pet sleep in very squeezes her body in between things like you squeezing herself between the chair and her bed? Not sleeping on her bed. <laughs> squeezing herself on the floor between them. Also, it's someone's cozy. feeling a little uncomfortable, so I'm going to go get her. Well, she's got a little pint of ice cream still in the freezer when I get her. Just a little bit. Just a little bit left. Stranger Things Season 2, thumbs up or thumbs down? Or thumbs up. sideways. I still can't choose if I like season one or season two more. I like Steve in season two more, and I like season one, and I like Hopper more in season two. I like season one overall yeah. more. I don't know. good character choose. growth in yeah, season two. Yeah, I almost feel like it's just like, it is just a really good show, so it's like, you can't there's pick. so many, like, moments. Pots and pieces. Yes. Why do you gotta lay like that and look so cute? All the time. Calling it early on this Sunday to get our final week before our Chicago trip started. Let's see, today is August 9th. The message is by Ovid. And the message is Let your hook be always cast. In the pool where you least expect it, there will be a fish. There goes the dishwasher. Um, Peter decided to move his short run. Is no day run. Wednesday. I'm switching today and Wednesday because it was raining. Yeah. Um, it never let up. Yeah, no. So, yeah, it was a bit. I mean, you've been running 
You did so many days in a row, I think it was. Yeah. Well, on Wednesday, I'm not going to have an off day. I'm still going to run, like, I was only supposed to run two miles today. Right. So, but it wasn't for rain, but. Yeah. Either way, I'll get back at it tomorrow. Yeah. Feel good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.